Hello class, this is section 7.2 and we are going to talk about Laplace transforms of derivatives. If we have an f that has a Laplace transform, if you paid attention to the video about the existence of Laplace transforms, this means that f is piecewise continuous, that it is made out of finitely many continuous pieces, and that f has a speed limit so that it's slower than an exponential function MECT for a t sufficiently large. So if this f has a Laplace transform, then the derivative of f also has a Laplace transform. And it's written down in this form, s Laplace transform of f minus f of 0. And this Laplace transform works for s greater than c, where c is the bound on the size of f. The exponential is ECT there. So this is again a very straightforward calculation that uses integration by parts. So let's look at it. Uh, the Laplace transform of f prime of t by definition is going to be equal to the integral of e, I, e minus st derivative of f t dt. This is a very likely candidate for integration by parts. So let's write down. So clearly, we want to write u equals eist, du equals minus s eist, and also dv equals f prime of t, which means v equals ft. So we have u dv, and this should be equal to u v minus v du. So let's write that all down. Let's, let's write u as e minus st, v as ft. Take the antiderivative of ft times minus s e minus st dt. This term taken from 0 to infinity and this integral from 0 to infinity. So this is going to be the limit as b goes to infinity of e minus sb fb minus f0, since um, e to the raised to 0 is 1. And this antiderivative is just going to be equal to plus s infinity 0 ft e, I, e minus st dt fb is less than m e c t and c is smaller than s, e i s b f b is less than e i s b times m e c b, and this is going to be less than m e c minus s, sorry, this is going to be equal to m equals c minus s b, so as b goes to infinity, this is just going to be 0, since c minus s is negative. So this is going to be 0 minus f0 plus s, and this is exactly the Laplace function of f. And there you have it, and this is the Laplace transform we have for the derivative of f, and this of course works for s greater than c.